Welcome back to Metro Exodus. In the last episode, we ran away from the Yamantau bunker as cannibals chased us out, and we've made our way very, very close to the Caspian One Communication Center, where we're hoping to gain some more information by using its access to satellites, figure out where the radiation is, where it might be safe, where it might not be safe, you know, get an overview of hopefully the whole world, if not a very large area. Satellites would give us an amazing amount of information that we don't have. But the Aurora, I don't know if it's broken down or if we just have stopped here because we're very, very low on supplies. But it needs more stuff if we're going to go really anywhere with it. We need water and we need diesel. Because it turns out the engine can use both coal or diesel. And diesel's probably more common here because we saw that uh, rickety vehicle in it that uh, spotted us and went to tell the Baron or Boron or what was their name? I think it was Boron. And that's our quest actually. Everybody else is off getting supplies and stuff and we need to go speak with them if they don't try to shoot me on sight. Uh, Artem. Заброшенный поселок здание с антенной. Узнай, кто туда поехал. Будем ждать от тебя новостей. Gotcha. I want to check my equipment first, though. Привет, Артем. Hey. That was a bunch of explosives. Oh, I can't even access the uh, back train car, and there's no workbench here. Okay, I guess we just gotta go do the thing right now. Oh right, I still have the freaking minigun. <laughs> oh, minigun and a shotgun, great. What <laughs> А солнышко-то припекает. Окей, занимаем оборону. Ты давай в хвост поезда, идиот к паровозу. Я тут пока наведу порядок, потом Степана перенесем. Здесь прохладнее, чем в вагоне. Задача ясна, ваш благородие. Разрешите приступать? Ха-ха, разрешаю. Ну, я пошел. Yeah, Stepan is supposed to be either sick or just not doing well health-wise in some other way. So it sounds like they're trying to get them somewhere cool. I want to check out this whole place. So interesting and everything's so different looking. Okay, let's just do the quest. Obviously, we're, we can't really like do normal things until we do the quest, so... <sighs> I wonder what kind of creatures are going to be out here. Would the same ones be here? Watchers and demons? Actually, I think I saw it. Yeah, <laughs> there's a demon up there. I guess demons like this just fine. Hey! What are you? Oh my god, they're so cute. They're so cute! They're like little bat creatures. They're like bat demons. Adorable. I really just can't get over how cool it is. How cool it is that everything is so hot. <laughs> it just it looks so different for a Metro game. Every Metro game has been either underground or in snowy places. It feels like I'm playing an entirely different game just because of how it looks. Damn, there's not much out here. Was this where I was supposed to go? To this flag? Oh! I spotted them right before they attacked me, but I wasn't sure what they were. Were they just sleeping? It sort of seemed like they were covered in dust and hibernating. 
until they saw me and then they blew off all the dust. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Damn. Storms brewing. Okay. Wow, that is really creepy. So maybe not necessarily new enemies here, although those bat things seem to be new, but just enemies that behave very differently. These look like offerings. To what? Boron? <laughs> oh, that's probably where I need to go, right? come out of the dust. Ah, uh, flies all over my face. Gross. Oh boy. Get all my knives back? Did I start with two or three? I don't remember. Maybe let's stay on the road. For, for now. Oh, they're everywhere. Jesus Christ, they really are everywhere, my god. Maybe I'll just run. really coming in, huh? Um, I should probably get back to the train? I didn't think it would come this freaking fast. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, that is my mission to get back to the train, right? Now the quest still says just go get help. Okay. I've got a gas mask. I'll be fine. ammo. Uh. 
Alright, this is what they were driving. The bandits spotted us. One more hit. Oh, <laughs> I can guess where they are. Blood. They're injured. Well, that's not nice. Didn't kill him. <laughs> Those freaking human animals. Um, what the hell is that? Is that the bastard? I don't think I want to use the bastard. Although, fuck, I suppose it's better than this thing. Well, no, it's not actually, because I have no ammunition for it. Storm's gone. I guess they really come and go super fast. Many of them, they're everywhere. I just need to get in the car, don't I? Alright, let's go. Let's go. Please don't break my legs. Just broke them a little bit. Yeah, we got the key for this thing now, right? It's a weird looking key. Oh, it's a door handle. Okay. Oh, 
Вот ты где, дружище? Откапывать тебя не надо. Ну, вырезай тогда. С хозяевами этой таратайки, я так понимаю, поболтать уже не получится. Несговорчивые какие. Хотя, будь у меня такая машина, я бы тоже отдавать не захотел, небось. Едешь себе, кум, королю, это же не пешком по жаре топать. Кстати, как раз сейчас и опробуешь. Пока ты тут в песке куличики лепил, я антенны разглядел. Значит, и центр связи там. Думаю, на маяке он, так что дуй туда. Маяк огромный, не пропустишь. Мне тут еще надо понаблюдать за окрестностями базы, но как освобожусь, может отправлюсь к тебе. До встречи. So where is this lighthouse? Should be obvious. Um, hmm. Well, if all the freaking humanibles... I don't want to call them humanibles. That sounds so silly. If all... I'm just going to call them zombies. If all the zombies are gone, then I guess I can go up there and try to scout. Oh, I guess that's it. Hey, little buddy. Yeah, I want to try to mark stuff on the map. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go back up here. And actually, let's go... Let's go through this slowly so I can actually properly loot the place, shall we? Though I don't think there's actually much to loot. Everything's so caved in and destroyed. What I really need is a friggin' workbench. I need access to my weapons. Maybe I could try to go back to the other train car in the Aurora. Didn't seem like it wanted me to go there, though. But I should try that after I loot this place. Yeah, <laughs> Правда, мне года три было, так что ничего не помню. Красиво, наверное, было. Right, a lot of people haven't even seen the sea. It's been, what, 20 years since the bombs fell? Yeah, it really doesn't seem like I missed much. Wait, can I rest here? Oh, damn. Crappy bedroll. Not good enough for our team. So I guess it, uh, I guess it dried up while these boats were just left here. Probably after the explosions. Nobody to come get the boats. It's gonna be cool to explore those. What's that over there? I see a couple flags on top of something very large. Could be a boat, maybe. Yep, they got those communication dishes over there. Is that the Caspian one place? Sure, I'm not missing anything close. Hmm. 
What is this one? <laughs> what? What? What am I marking? Weird. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Huh? Yes. Wait, what is that? Is that a demon nest? I got pretty much everything. Let's look at all the things populating the map. Oh, that's beautiful. There's probably some more things to the east over there because I think a lot of it's behind that mountain. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff behind that mountain. Okay. God, I can't wait to explore this place. But first, I'm going to go back to the Aurora and see if I can use the workbench. Right, so can I actually drive this thing now? Can I actually drive a vehicle? Oh my god. Wow, this thing's been cobbled together from parts. That's so cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can actually drive it. Look at how this thing's been... Ah, so it is the Baron, not Boron. Combat train slaves. Looks like they've rigged up the gas tank to just hook up to any... Uh, maybe that just is the gas tank? Just sitting on the seat? Actually, that's not even a seat over there, is it? Anyway, let's drive. You can drive a freaking vehicle in Metro. I wonder if I'll get attacked by the zombie things. Man, this feels really good. It looks and sounds so cool. Shaky and rusty and squeaky. I love it. Hey, look what I got. Sweet ride, huh? <laughs> look at this thing. I guess it probably doesn't weigh very much, huh? I mean, it's been so stripped. Alright, can, can I please go into the back cart? Please? Oh, hey. Hey, Nastya. Дядя Артём, а тут такое было. Я в комнату зашла, а там скелеты страшные. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Раз, два, три, четыре, пять. Выползом наш погулять. I really can't go inside, can I? It's right there. My beautiful home. I want to see Stepan. And Katya. And I want my weapons. Where are my guns? 
Yeah, you definitely cannot go into that back car. There's no workbench around here or anything. Just gotta work with what we got. Got a question mark up here. Hey, Tumbleweed. Actually, you know what? It's not like you only find things like question marks. That's where big stuff is. But even stuff like this, just like train cars. There's probably stuff in here, right? What the hell was that? Oh, I stepped into one of those babies. I'm sorry. Yeah, look at them. They're such like Mad Max characters. They've really embraced the desert. Don't think I'll use the car for now. Only if I need to go a long distance to a pretty big place, you know? Whoa, what is that? Holy shit. Is it dangerous? Guess not. Seems to be as afraid of me as I was of it. There's a question mark. Looks like a little shack that maybe maybe has a workbench. No. Whoa. There's some new parts there. Actually, that might that might be an entirely new weapon. I'll check that out in a second. Yeah, okay, what is that? Let's replace this. I have no ammo for it. I don't know what this is. Uh... Does anything say what it is? It seems to only hold one shot at a time. It's got one loaded and one in reserve, but I can't reload it. What the heck is this thing? And what type of ammo does it use? It looks like something special, like a sniper bullet? That looks like? Because it's got a picture of a scope next to it, you know? I'm intrigued. As a sniper, though, this thing would be terrible. I mean, it doesn't even have a scope. It looks more like an SMG. I don't think there's any way to see this thing's name if you're not at a workbench. That's so cool looking. I fucking love this game. It's real good. Where's those... Dusty denizens of the desert. Is that you? Hmm. Oh god. Who the hell are- Where's my other knife? There was another one over here. There it is. Come back here. You have my knife in you.
Probably need to make more ammo for that thing. How are we doing on supplies? Pretty bad. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. So, yeah, I can just uh, use this to figure out what the name of this dang thing is. Valve. That's totally new. This thing almost looks space age. It's so cool looking. That bendy bit here? It's really interesting. I think I heard something. Oh, yes. Yes. Let's go somewhere else. Somewhere quieter. Okay. We can customize this thing a lot, actually. Short barrel. So this thing seems to be a sniper, so I guess we want to go with the biggest barrel possible. Standard. Heavy. Heaviest among the barrels. This flute... This flute pipe provides a considerable boost to firepower. I hope that snake doesn't bite me. Or long. Looks like long is just better in every way, except for stability. Man, this thing has very low stability. It's definitely a single fire weapon. Well, I guess I'll go with the long. Night vision scope. That's new. Night vision scope allows for accurate placement of shots even in complete darkness. I hope I can turn the night vision on and off. No magazine. Standard for old style rifles. Only one round in the chamber. Oh. You literally just, after you shoot the one round in the chamber, you have to put another one in. Infrared laser. The IR laser sight's invisible beam produces a very small dot on the target, which is only detectable with a night vision device. Hmm. So I couldn't even see it with the naked eye, and I guess they can't see it. Which implies that they can see a normal red laser. Which makes sense, because why wouldn't you be able to see it? Um, what else can we do? I, well, I don't have any modifications for the the Gatling. Dang. Alright, let's see what this thing looks like now. <laughs> My god, that scope is so big. Oh, this thing looks absurd. What a huge chunk of metal. Oh, the... The night vision scope actually doesn't zoom in very much. Like, maybe two times? Um, can I turn it off? I can put my normal night vision on. No. You can't turn it off. That makes sense. I guess. Because you can just, you know, change attachments whenever you want. So this is something I guess you would just put on if you're specifically doing stuff in the dark. So, if I do night vision, I'll be able to see the dot... Yeah, I kind of see it. Doesn't work too much out here. You know, being daylight in the desert and all. Right, well, night vision scope is definitely not the way to go. I wish I had a 4x scope, but I guess reflex sight's the best I can do. This thing's not going to be very usable right now without a scope. Oh, actually, I should put a normal laser sight on it, also. There we go. Probably packs a hell of a punch. I have the worst weapons ever. I have a minigun and a sniper without a scope that I can use in the daylight. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be metal balls, steel balls rather. For a while now. Speaking of, I need to make more. I wanna make some more knives too. Let's make all five. They really are very good for saving ammunition. So, we did that question mark back there. Yes. Let's explore all this stuff, even if it isn't a question mark. Sun setting.
How do I get up there? Can I just grab on? There's gotta be something up... Up there, right? It's creepy how they travel on the tracks, using it like a road. Maybe they just see a straight line like that and just... Think to follow it, because we know they're not very intelligent. Can I, like, blow the support beam out of this thing? Seems awfully unlikely. I don't even have any concussives. Okay, I'll leave it. You think there's secret treasure behind these rocks? Well, dang. This game is so gorgeous. to get my hands on this baron. It's like, your king is speaking. Like, what the hell kind of figure is this to them? A dictator, I guess. the way they move in packs. Okay. Well, that's all I need to know. I'm out. It's a question mark somewhere over... Somewhere there. They move pretty fast. Just wait for them to do their thing. Look at how much bigger that one is. They come in different sizes. Is that... I don't think that's... That, like, special blue one that we've seen in the past. It just seems to look normal, except it's just bigger.
That one's all alone. Oh, no it's not. I will find those. I'll find every single one. Alright, that's two knives. The rest... Oh, the rest went... They went pretty far. I keep thinking the knives will be a great way to save ammo, and theoretically that's true, but... Man, the way these mutants move... It's hard to hit them. Yes! That's three? I got three of them. What if they stick out night vision? They got those red handles. No, they super don't. Oh. Four? And five! I got them all back! Oh, I'm so happy. Snakes do bite. Am I gonna die from the poison? No, we're okay. Ooh. Bunch of attachments for that sniper thing. A bunch that I think are new. I'm not sure what that is. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, come on. What are you gonna do about it? I was about to say that uh, they were using this for target practice because of all these bottles, and then right below it, well, human target practice. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to continue to explore the desert, including something that I just spotted right now. Some sort of a geyser. Well, I guess if anybody wants to take a hot bath in an extremely hot desert, uh, that'll be nice and relaxing on a hot day. Alright, I'll be back soon.